Today we will start with Raman spectroscopy. It was discovered by C. V. Raman and K. S. Krishnan Raman, and it has become an important and well-established method uh, of chemical analysis and characterization, and it is applicable to many different chemical species. Uh, one main advantage is that the samples which are used can be in the form of solid, liquid, or gases. Now, in uh, Raman spectroscopy mainly uh, scattering of light is observed and it was observed that the small fraction of light scattered by certain molecules differ from that of the incident beam and furthermore there will be shift in the wavelength depending upon the chemical structure of the molecule which is responsible for the scattering. Now let us talk about the scattering process. In this the beam of monochromatic light it falls on a molecule and photons will be absorbed by the material and scattered. Uh, vast majority of these scattered photons they will have exactly the same uh, wavelength as the incident photon and they are known as the relic scattering because this is the virtual level. Now the uh, in, uh, relic scattering the electrons they will decay back uh, they are excited and then they de decay back to the same level from where it started. So this is uh, relic scattering and it is oftenly known as the uh, elastic scattering. Now in relic scattering as we saw that uh, the scattered photon they have same energy as the incident light. Um, that is why it is known as elastic scattering also. Now let us come to the inelastic scattering that is the uh, stoke scattering and uh, anti-stoke scattering. Now this one is stoke scattering. Uh, in Stoke scattering, the scatter uh, in now uh, in this inelastic scattering, first of all, the scattered photon they have slightly either lower or higher energy by one quanta of either the vibrational or rotational level. Now let us come to the Stokes uh, scattering first. Um, in sc Stoke scattering, you can see uh, the energy is lost. So the Raman scattering is designated as Stokes scattering. So this is the energy of the incident light whereas this is the energy of the scattered light. So the resulting frequency of the scattering is reduced by V0 minus VV. So this Raman frequency is called the Stokes frequency. Whereas in uh, anti-Stokes uh, scattering uh, the energy is gained and the Raman scattering is designated as anti-stroke. Um, we rarely use anti-stroke Raman light as uh, it is less intense than the stroke. Uh, in this case, the Raman frequency uh, of the scattered light will be increased to V0 plus VV. So this Raman frequency is known as the uh, anti-stroke frequency. This is the figure uh, which is showing the comparative scattering that is this is the relic scattering this one is the strokes and this one is the anti-strokes.